Uh, but one of the main things that makes uh, debug such a powerful tool is that besides drawing with lines and polylines and so on, debug draws walls and partitions that are defined as such. This way, when I work with walls and partitions created with debug, I can use them to interact with joinery items, hatches, dimension tools, measurements, etc. This way, the workflow in creating a floor plan and making the calculations just goes so much faster. I'm going to show you just a few examples of how this works. So I indicate the direction, I type the measurement, and now I can draw the next wall, which as you can see, goes in a different insertion. This one right now is being drawn with the internal insertion of the uh, side insertion. So if I want to change the side of the wall that is going to be created, I can just type F5 and change the side of the wall of the insertion. So now I just click and as you can see, every time I draw a wall, the intersections will be fixed automatically. So I don't have to waste time in deleting and fixing the intersection and lines that are in between walls. As you can see, the initial and the end point is fixed automatically, but the ones in the, the cross in the middle are not fixed. Instead of having to delete these four lines separately, I can just go to this tool, intersection tool, and click on one of the lines, and all the intersections will be fixed automatically. These wall are now divided in two sections, this one and this one, which can be easily deleted with the eraser tool. As you can see, the wall is deleted and the intersections are also fixed and the walls mend itself. I can use different uh, construction uh, functions such as the parallel wall. Very easy, I just have to set a parallel distance which is going to be 180. I could change the thickness of this wall, obviously, and now I can just draw the parallel wall at 1.8 from this reference. Instead of having to draw two lines, I just have to use the length and shorten function and with two clicks I get this wall extended and fixed into the opposite wall. And these two spaces I divide it. Alright, so another way to create uh, uh, spaces or uh, enclosed areas or rooms is by using the divide wall. This way I can create three spaces that will be equidistant and separated by partitions, but a certain number of partitions. So here I can set the number of spaces that this area will have, three spaces divided by two walls, and now the length of the walls that I'm going to create. So let's put a length of 3.83, and now just with two clicks, the two walls will be created automatically. And now, uh, if I want to insert doors, windows, and wardrobes, I have to go to the joinery function. This way, I will open this window that allows me to create different types of doors. So once I got it, I can just press OK, change the color, and just place it here, for example. I got this door that, as, you, as it detects the wall, it will snap to be at 15 centimeters from the closest corner. If I go here, there will be 15 centimeters from this corner. With one click, I get it inserted and with the wall will be trimmed. And here, the same. If I want to place one freely, it's very easy. I just have to right click with the mouse to open, to restart the previous function, change a free positioning, and then I can just insert it wherever I want without any type of restriction. I can change the direction of the opening, no problem. All these doors and joinery items are um, easily um, erasable. I can delete them very easily and also the wall will amend itself when I delete one door. So I go to the eraser tool, I click and then it's deleted and the wall is fixed. The windows is very similar, just have to open the joinery function go to the window, choose one of the three types that I have, and go to a fixed distance, let's set it at 11 centimeters from the closest intersection or corner, 
number of sashes that I want to um, assign to this block, this January item, the length of the window, the frame thickness. So once it's decided, I can just get uh, hover over uh, a wall and it will snap. And here again, as you can see, 11 centimeters, 11 centimeters, and 11 centimeters. Very easy and very fast to insert all these. Another object that we can use uh, to insert and to interact with the walls is the pillar or the columns function. So I have to click on the pillars icon. I have the preview of the pillar that I'm going to create, the insertion that I want to place, uh, I want to use to insert this pillar using the snapping uh, um, objects of the geometry. Um, I'm gonna put it in this corner. I can create a circular or rectangular shape pillar with changing its length, width, diameter. I can decide uh, to insert this pillar at a certain distance from the walls that I, um, uh, that I uh, specify. So for example, let's place this pillar at five centimeters and five centimeters from these two walls. And then I'm going to create a wrapping that will um, uh, show or will draw two lines that will behave as the wrapping of the pillar in the wall. So I go to OK. I can change the insertion very easily. And now just click on the first wall, click on the second wall, and here we go. We got the insertion, the wrapping, and the block with the dimensions that I have established before. All right, um, another possibility that we have while using uh, the wall function is um, creating the areas or calculating the areas of the enclosures really fast and easy. Uh, for this, I have to go to the um, area function. I can choose enclosed area. There are different methods to calculate the areas of the project, but if we use the wall the construction walls uh, functions. We can use the enclosed area. I click OK. I'm going to change the color to magenta. And just by clicking in the inner side of the wall, I will get a highlighted area that will show the, the enclosed area that is being calculated. And then I just insert the, the value, the, the text object of the area. So do the, doing this is very easy, very fast. You can use, you can combine it with other methods. So if you want to do it with the whole uh, floor plan, instead of using uh, inner side of the wall, we can go to the outer side of the wall. And as you can see, it will highlight the whole project and show me the area of the whole floor plan. And I'm gonna show you uh, another one, which is the dimension function or the dimension styles. Uh, which includes the different methods of creating um, dimensions that we all know from similar programs, but it has uh, uh, one that maybe is not so common, which is called the automatic dimension system. This way, we can take advantage of the, the walls and partitions of the project to calculate the dimensions of these enclosures with just two clicks. Now I have to enable the, the dimension style that I created and I go to automatic. I'm going to change the, the color. And as you can see with one click and another click, I get the dimensions of all these areas, all these enclosures in just two clicks, really, really fast. Another uh, function that is very useful is uh, to make a joinery report uh, of all the joinery items of the project. To do this, I have to click on this button. I'm gonna delete these items that I have here just to keep it clean. And now just to press add items, it's asking me if I want to use all the joinery items of the current drawing. I'm gonna say yes. Uh, I'm going, it's going to create a new a uh, file, a new window uh, with the graphic and visual report of the generis with an elevation view, elevation preview. So that way 
we have to create a height for this uh, element. So I'm gonna press OK. I can change the height of uh, individual elements without a problem. Here I have the label that each one of the January items is going to have, the description, etc. So now I can create a drawing. And as you can see, I have a new project, a new file with the information of all the January items that I have in this project. The amount of this type of door, the description, windows, wardrobes, etc. Um, another uh, tool that I think is quite uh, interesting for you to see is uh, the cavity. So I can just click on the cavity axis lines option, which this will allow me to create an insulation cavity or chamber uh, inside of the walls and partitions if needed. So I can set a distance from to the cavity, which means that the cavity will be set at a certain distance from one of the sides of the walls, or a cavity depth will be the, the thickness of the cavity itself. So I'm gonna keep it as default values. I press OK, and now just by clicking in one of the sides, it will create this element, this object, which lets me to show you really quickly also uh, how to use the hatch patterns, which is very powerful and uses the capacities of, uh, of uh, the walls and partitions of the project. So I can go to the predefined type hatch, a pattern of this style. For example, I'm gonna go to this one and now a scale of 0 0.08 for example and I use the area insertion method that will allow me to just oh, I'm gonna get a different color magenta here we go it will detect the boundaries of walls and partitions and insert the hatch inside of that region I'm gonna show you uh, one last feature uh, that could be quite useful which uh, just gonna let me create really quickly the the dimension just here will be just fine is uh, the stretch area so if I want to modify certain areas of the of this project I'm gonna delete this hatch um, I can use this option which is called the stretch area and create a box that will include the areas that I want to deform or stretch so now that this um, uh, area that I selected includes the hatch, uh, the dimension, this will be modified as well. So if I want to stretch this, uh, I don't know, maybe just go to this direction one, two meters, I insert it, and as you can see, this has been stretched and the dimension has been also modified. If I want to do it with all this area, yes click accept and I go to the right two meters and as you can see the dimensions are modified and the walls have been extended and stretched 